quarantine day number 635. I've eaten all the Twix. I don't know what to do. Hey, what's up everybody? It is Nick and we are back with the Bible quarantine. Man, things are out of control. I don't know what to do, but the topic of today is what makes Friday good. Now, I'm not talking about the movie Friday. I'm not talking about Black Friday after Thanksgiving, crazy long lines, standing, waiting for some television sale. There ain't nothing good about that. Listen, I'm talking about this Friday, which is known as Good Friday around the world. And yet it's a day where we celebrate death. So how could that possibly be good? This is the topic of tonight's Bible Quarantine. Now tonight we're looking at an important moment in history. It's the moment when Jesus died. He laid down his life. And tonight I wanna to share how that changes everything for you and for me. I wanna bring us to God's word and then offer some practical points about why Jesus' death matters to you, and to me, to the whole world. So if you have your Bibles, you can open up with me to Luke chapter 23. We're gonna go Luke 23, starting in verse 32. I wanna encourage you to read through the whole chapter, Luke 23 and Luke 24, Get your heart and mind focused on Jesus on this Easter weekend. Luke 23, 32 says this, Two other men, both crim criminals, were also led out with him to be executed. When they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him along with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. He was forgiving those who were killing him. This is crazy. It says they divided up his clothes, they cast lots. The people stood watching and the rulers even made fun of him. They said he saved others, let him save himself. If he is the Messiah, the chosen one. Even the soldiers came up and mocked him. They offered him wine, vinegar, and said, if you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. We're gonna fast forward to verse 44. It was about noon and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon for the sun stopped shining. The curtain of the temple was torn in two. Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last. Now it says in this passage that a soldier was there, saw the earth shaking, saw the lightning, the thunder, the darkness. And he turned and he said, surely this man was the son of God. So the topic tonight, why is Friday good? And what does it mean for you and for me? Three reasons why Friday, Good Friday is so good. Why we celebrate this moment. Number one, we remember that Jesus died for us. And I wanna say it more personally, Jesus died for you. You see, the Bible tells a story of a loving God and a wayward people. You see, throughout history, we have chosen to go our own way. Isaiah says it like this. He says, all we like sheep, have you ever seen a sheep? They're not the smartest animal. He says, all we like sheep have gone astray, each of us to our own way, but God laid on him, Jesus, the iniquity of us all. Jesus died your death. The Bible says that because of our sin, because of our pain, because of the things that have happened to us, because of the things that happened from us, that we are guilty. It says all have sinned and fallen short of God and that the wages of sin is death. The great news, the good news about Friday, Good Friday, is that Jesus died our death. He paid our price. Number two, why is Friday good? Because Jesus defeated death. 
He defeated death and he defeated sin. Not only did he die, if he died, this would just be a, a sad day where we remember the greatest man that ever lived. And he would still be worthy of parades and songs and books and literature. But what makes Friday so good is that it is followed by Easter morning when we celebrate that Jesus is alive. And I know I'm giving you a sneak preview of what's to come, but one of the reasons this is so good is because Jesus didn't just die for you, but he defeated death, he defeated sin, he defeated the grave once and for all. Number three, why is Friday good? Because Jesus offers you life. And to make it more relevant, he offers you a reset. You see, on your phone, on your computer, there's a reset button. Reset means to clear past errors and get the system working toward its intended or created purpose. When Jesus died, he offered a supernatural reset, a supernatural second chance for you and for me to have life to have wholeness, to have forgiveness, and to come in relationship with our Creator. Jesus died for you, Jesus defeated sin and death, and Jesus offers you life. This reset is for you. And if you need this, you can pray with me right now. Dear Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of my sin. Thank you for dying for me on the cross. I surrender to you, I repent, and I turn to you. Be my savior, be my leader, be my Lord. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. This is the Bible Quarantine. This is Good Friday. Let's keep going after Jesus together.